Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ki Tatiana here, and I'm looking extremely rough today. Today, I actually wanted to record me, or film me, I should say, doing my boho box braids i am tired of having to do my hair so i want to do it myself because one i'm not paying nobody 300 dollars to do box braids for me to take it out very soon but i think i'm gonna do some box braids and keep it in for about a good three weeks and then like have continuously hair continuous hairstyles after that i'm about to head to the beauty supply store to go get the braids i watched a few tutorials on how to do it i was gonna record myself so i can like show you guys like the the process and all of that I will, but I don't know if this video is going to be able to go up today on Wednesday if I begin filming it now. Because right now it's... Alexa, what time is it? It's 2.26 p.m. So it's 2.26 p.m. right now. If I begin my braids around 3 o'clock, I'm literally probably not going to be finished until... Um, maybe midnight 11 o'clock or midnight all right guys i'm back i came back from the beauty supply store it is like 305 just like i said i was gonna come back so to make it easier for me i'm sorry this is real life to make it easier for me so i make sure the parting is straight because usually when i do box braids the parting will be that straight so i'm going to section it with my um that that I don't want it too small. Okay, I do have rubber bands actually. They're right here. Rubber band it. Make sure I'm gonna do like medium to large. Let me show you guys what I got. Make sure you hit a thumbs up. This ain't gonna be a tutorial or anything, but I got the 48 inch pre stretch type 4, color 4, I guess you can say. Hair only because the ends of my hair is a little like burgundy, it looks like. I don't know. But 48 inches, I'm going to do the wavy bottoms. So, and then I also got my shine and jam. You can't do braids without shine and jam. So, there's that. And I'll just let y'all, I thought that was a bug on my foot. And I'll just let y'all see. Alright guys, I'm almost done. I sectioned it. I twisted up. they all like rubber band, if you can see. Just so when the braiding process begins. It'll be a bit easier for me to just um, be able to braid it. I think it, to be honest, this is my first time doing it this way. And I think it'll make it a little easier for me to just be able to, you know, y'all know what I mean. I just feel like it might be a little bit easier for me in this direction. Alright, I'm back. Don't mind the mess behind me, but... I want to talk about something real fast um, while I begin to do my hair, actually. And I really wanted to, like, sorry, my parents. Y'all already know what's about to happen. I don't know why I'm saying sorry anyways. So, I wanted to touch base on being patient in your season. And I feel like I often speak about this. The Lord often have me sharing encouragement with you all on being patient in the seasons that God has you in. And it's because it's for a purpose. So, I was just watching a video by Miss Naturally Mary. If you guys know her on YouTube, she's a popular natural hair content creator. And I love her videos. I love how she includes the Lord in everything that she produces. And I believe that the fruit of her growth is because of her obedience to Christ. So, a lot of times, and including myself, there was a moment, probably like in February, where I had like a big old meltdown. And it was really because... I, you guys don't, I don't work. I don't work a nine to five. I do YouTube full time. Yes, I have a small channel. I do YouTube full time. I do content creating full time. I do my business full time. And yes, none of these things are paying me enough for me to survive on my own in a, a one bedroom apartment like this. None of this is supplying for that is really all God. But um, the other day, well, the other month now, because we're about to be in April, I had extremely bad meltdown out of nowhere and i know that god has been providing i know that god has been taking care of me but that day was just like why do i feel like i have to go through so many hurdles to reach the end because we see on social media so many people going from 
hair to hair, this level to that level, and what it looks like a blink of an eye. But what we don't really see is the fruit underneath it. You know, a lot of people do have these great luxurious items, whether it's a house, a car, money, whatever the case may be. But where, how is their soul? How do they feel at nighttime when they're by themselves? How are they to, with people? How are they socially? How are they, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many things, so many factors that are more important than it is just having the fame and the wealth and the, you know, all the things that social media displays as um, perfect. So all that to say is in that video, it truly encouraged me because a couple months ago I was there. I'm at 2K subscribers now and it's only by the grace of God that I am at 2K. I remember when I first, uh, which is great because I'm gonna talk more about this and probably in another video, but last year around this time, last year, March 29th, 2020, I said, I'm gonna be fully like I'm gonna go course with my with my YouTube journey, meaning I'm going to be posting. I told myself that I'm gonna be posting videos consistently for the next however long I said. I don't remember how long I said, but I did say that I'm gonna be consistent with it. I'm not going to slack. I'm gonna post three times a week. I'm gonna be consistent with this. Like YouTube's gonna be the thing, especially we just entered quarantine. And there was so much that um, was changing because of the pandemic. And YouTube was something that I believe that God was calling me to. And I believe that he would advance and enhance in his timing. And it wasn't, it was a perfect season for me to go consistent with it. Just being the, the battles and the triumphs that God was taking me through. Um, this hair feels super soft. The battles and the triumphs, that the victories that I was witnessing with the Lord, um, it truly haven't, it was the best time for me to do that. But I want to encourage anyone who is looking to pursue something, whether it's a job or whether it's a social media, whatever it is that fits you and you believe that, you know what, why, why do I feel like I'm not getting there yet? Understand that God's timing is perfect. Our time, our plan is usually cool, but his plan is magnificent. It's unwavering. It never fails. When God's hand is on something, trust me, that thing cannot break down. That is scripture. What, get, what God brings together, no man shall bring down. No man shall f break it. No man shall, um, unless you step outside of the will, you know, then that's different. But just choosing to follow and pursue God in the midst of the tough seasons because being a content creator that isn't a popular content creator i'm not a, one of your typical one million subscriber youtube channel i'm not the influencer that has one million six million on instagram i'm pretty chill on low on numbers on there but the uh, anointing and the flow of god is most important that displays through my instagram displays through my youtube channel i want people to know that when they come to my channel when they come across my instagram page that they see the love of christ and it's something that we don't see so evident in our in nowadays really like you you see people who who say that they are content creators um for christ um king i should say kingdom or christian creators or however you want to say i don't care they say these things, um, but their hearts are far from God. And you can tell by the way that they speak their fruit. Like you can you can base you can judge someone based off of their character, based off of their fruit. Um, you can see where their heart is, if their heart is pure. And one thing I constantly pray is God help me to keep a humble heart before you. Help me to always remember that it's you and you alone that I have reached here. It's God and God alone that has been providing and when i tell people that i am a content creator or youtuber whatever the case may be they automatically assume like i'm this big time um person and god's willing i will be that i will be that um person right however my main goal isn't to just increase in numbers and i believe during this consecration period because you guys i have said that i'm not on social media right now besides youtube but I don't count YouTube as social media because I'm not scrolling or anything. But um I mean like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, things like that. I'm not I'm not currently not using those until God releases me to do so. I think this size is like perfect for this. Let's see. 
what y'all think you know see i think it's perfect yeah uh, until he releases me to do so that's when i will be but as of right now i'm not on it and i'm totally fine with growing with the lord and i think a, a, a part of this social media wanting to be a social media influencer uh, whatever you want to call it y'all it comes with a I didn't know it came with a deeper a deeper level of consecration a deeper level of submission to Christ because it's so easy y'all it y'all know it's super easy to get caught up in what you see online and that's just that it's super caught up to get it's super easy to get caught up in the numbers it's super easy to get caught up in the analytics um it's it's a lot um but remaining prostrated at the lord's feet and remember why he's calling you to this position why he's calling you to that job why he's calling you to this um place this environment knowing that it all works out for the good of those who love god and that's scripture we know and we hear but are we truly understanding that where god has us each season is for a purpose each progressive season is for a purpose is to teach us something and for us to better off speak um to god's people on what he's delivered us from what he's brought us through how he has helped us in the season so we can better encourage other people that if god did it for me look if god has sustained for me this past year in the pandemic and now like i'm still not working every time i'm telling you every time i'm about to apply for a job god's like no and I don't want anybody to think like, oh, like this girl just want to be home all the time, like, you know, type of thing. And I was starting to feel like, well, I feel like I'm just depending on the government to take care of me. But God is, and every time I would try to apply a job, God is like, no, that's not what I want you to do in the season. What I need you to do is to focus on me, focus on what I'm calling you to do. So I've been obedient and doing that. And is it hard? Yes. Is it easy? No. But it's something that I'm trusting God and totally depending on him. I think this season is really teaching teaching faith what it means to truly have unwavering faith faith that i can't see what's about to happen i don't know sometimes i don't know when i'm gonna get money again that's just that's just the truth but what i do know god is taking care of me he provides my bills he does literally everything for me and it's only by the grace of god that i'm here and i'm rambling but i just want to come on here and encourage y'all to relinquish control over your life really really submit your desires submit your plans submit everything that you believe that you deserve submit it to god allow him to take full control over your life and i promise you it's gonna be much easier i'm gonna use my shining gem trust me it's gonna be much easier for you to be at peace when you know that you have a god who is taking full control over your life so yeah that's all i have to say i'll be back when i finish my hair y'all <laughs> all right guys i'm back i only took two hours to do my hair can you believe that okay this is progress this is growth being that i mean it is severely large but i did a pretty good job i did the little wavy ends I saw tutorials, they were saying like, oh, add wavy ends, but I'm like, you know what? I braided it in sections. I should have showed y'all, but I literally just took it out. If you heard worship music in the back, I was listening to Matthew Stevenson's um, sermon, but I want to see, they're worshiping right now. That's why it's like that. <laughs> you hear that, but this is what my hair looks like. This probably looks lower. Does that look weird? Do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section. Does this part look weird and I could like fix it? afterwards but i mean to be honest like i look bomb you know what i mean you know what i mean i did my little edges and all that but yeah thank you guys for watching this video let me know in the comment section if it encouraged you i pray that it did encourage you i pray that the lord did speak to you i pray that you even relinquish control on today that you allow the lord to do a work in your life that you allow the lord to take full control over every desire every plan every vision and submit it to him because his plan 
and his will is perfect for your life and i promise you that the lord is going to do something once you relinquish control once you say all right god i cannot do it on my own all right god this is too much for me all right god take this stress take this burden his word says in matthew 11 28 come to me all who are wearing burden and he will give you rest so allow the lord to give you rest in exchange okay instead of burden because i've i've had my seasons i've had my highs and lows where i'm really like god like why do i have to go through all this extraness what i think is extraness but what i didn't know and what i didn't understand and those seasons where i felt like oh god this is extra it's really for the encouragement of my spirit it's also for the building of my character but also to sit here and testify about god's goodness and how he can truly satisfy your every need he can truly provide the way that he says that he he will provide because we know that god is jehovah jireh we understand all the names of god and how god um how what God nature is, but do we fully understand in the midst of the storm that in, in the midst of um, us feeling defeated or feeling like we need to be in control, do we truly understand what it means to um, surrender? And that's been like the word of the season, like really surrender, surrendering my desires, surrendering my thoughts, surrendering all that I believe is should be mine and saying, God, yes to you. Yes to whatever I don't see. Yes to how you see it. Yes to what you will do. Yes to what you would not do and saying, all right, I trust you regardless. I trust that everything, everything will work according to the good of, of me, um, of those who love God. So yeah, I just pray that that encourages you. Something that God has been speaking to me a lot on recently in this um, consecration period. And I believe that God really wants to help those, um, help really just um, individuals who want to seek God more. But also the individuals who have been having a struggle of truly letting go control. We live in a society where we're taught to have full control over the things that you want and you desire that manifest um, new age uh, desires that a lot of people have been implementing into their Christian morals and values, which is absolutely false. But the Lord truly wants you to say, here is what's bothering me. Here is what's been giving me burden. Um, here is my plan and desires. But God, if this is not your will, I don't want it. We have to be okay with saying, God, if it's not yours, I don't want it. Because I know that you have better. And just know that the God, just know that God will provide y'all. I just if this didn't encourage you enough, I just want you to know that let God take control. I can't, I really can't even stress this enough. But let him take control. I promise you. It's so hard. I understand. I'm in a season of like just total dependency on God. Don't got no job. I got apartment. I got bills. Got car. Got a whole bunch of stuff, phone bill, you know, everything else that comes with being an adult. I have all of that and no job, but it's only by the grace of God that I've been able to provide and be on time with every single bill. And whether it's the Lord providing in several different streams, he has been doing it. And I just really want to encourage anybody on here who have been feeling like, what should I do with my life? What should I do? How should I do it? How do I know if God is really going to truly um, take care of me? But you're a God's child. Like, do you understand that you're God's daughter that your God's son and he is going to provide for his children so yeah I'm, I'm gonna come off of here before I start like full on like, preaching <laughs> but I'm gonna encourage y'all um and just leave y'all with this Jesus loves you and he loves you so much that he desires to take away what bothers you what kind of love is that that he truly desires to take on the burdens that you have on your heart the burdens we make the choice to place there to be out. so many times that i'm sitting there feeling defeated and god's like why are you choosing to feel this way it's a choice we make the choice to say god hears this we make the choice to say all right devil you gonna have authority over me today like you know what we give we give authority to these things to run rampage in our minds and in our hearts but what will you surrender to god today and i'll just leave out with that i love you guys thank you for tuning into another video i know i should have done a tutorial whatever if you like my braids if this encouraged you whatever let me know in the comment section love y'all and i'll see y'all on friday's video peace